yeah so hello guys uh today i'm visiting the nairobi railways museum so it's a nice place so you first greeted with um, graffiti that is uh, you know drawn on the pathway that leads to the main entrance of the museum so there's uh, quite a number of uh, graffiti that is drawn so yeah just have a look of the uh, the uh, graffiti and uh, enjoy Yeah, so I'm done with the pathway that leads to the main entrance. So yeah, it's just a long stretch, not, not a long stretch, just like a few meters, then um, you get to enter. So I've just approached the entrance and here's the entrance. So yeah, let's go in. So as you can see on the left side, you can see some of the trains. So. I'm just approaching the ticketing place so I'm gonna share how much it costs for people to get in so yeah when you enter the museum there are four rooms with different artifacts for exploring. The first room has a display ranging from a truck inspector bicycle, equipment used in construction, and photographs from the late 1800s and early 1900s. You can also view cutlery and other official instruments that the late Queen Elizabeth II used. These were the seats of uh, the Queen Elizabeth the late. Yeah, so they're being used on his uh, on her train, sorry. Yep. I think when she visited uh, Kenya when she was uh, about to be named the Queen. Or I'm not sure about that, yeah. <laughs> So these were the cutlery items that were being used on the train. So you can see the queen's porcelain cups and plates. Yeah, some quite good uh, designs. Yeah. So this was the inspector's bicycle. So as you can see, it's a bicycle attached to a wheel. So I think when the railway line was uh, a bit wide, the inspector could fall down. Now the railway was wrong, wrongly built. So yeah, that was the work of the bicycle. Yep. The second room, which is known as the communication room, shows you some instruments used for communication like phones, signaling lamps, torches, bells, life jackets, and an old calculator which was used to be operated in the chief accountant's office in 1926 to 1930. The third room showcases ships and water transport equipment used by or affiliated with Kenya. The most outstanding ship was the German cruiser Königsberg, which was sunk during World War I by the British. The final and fourth room of the museum gives you a modern perspective of the current locomotive famously known as the SGR, before heading out to see the ancient locomotive which are stationed in the yard just next to the museum. The modern SGR was built 
through a partnership between the Kenyan government and the Chinese. Here is where you get to uh, you get to see now the modern trains that are now in Kenya, and um, so these are big uh, um, big pictures uh, that are stationed on the wall, just to showcase how the the now uh, modern the SGR that is being used as of now, uh, how it was built, how it looks like, and then so I think it's a way of um, just showing people how um, how the early times um, now in the 1900s how the trains were um, were looking like and then you can now have a glance of what now the modern types of train how they look like so it showcases um, like some of the you know equipments used um, yeah the protective equipment and then um, yeah, so um, I think there's not much, but uh, these are some of the these are some of the locomotives of the present days. So yeah, yeah. So I'm done with the inside part of the museum. So uh, we now headed to the now where you get to see the big trains that uh, were being used so yeah enjoy i'm gonna um, tell you um, if i can remember as much uh, i can tell you which train was which and then yeah you get to learn and uh, you get you also um, um, should come and uh, enjoy because it's uh, it's nice history that you get to learn and uh, you just know about uh, Kenya and how the railway stations were built. So, yeah, enjoy. Yeah, so guys, um, let me show you one of the trains, um, the trains engine station that were being used in the early 1900s. So yeah, so let's go into the um, uh, engine room. So yeah, let me show you. So I'm entering the uh, the engine room. So it was it's quite a big, um, quite a big train. So yeah, so this was the um, this was the engine room. Uh, this is where the let me show you. This is where the control station of the train was, and um, this is the driver of the train seat. I don't know what uh, the driver of a train is called. If you know the name of a uh, train driver put it in the comments yeah so actually um, this was the view of uh, the driver and there's a big engine in front of the view so I'm wondering how they were being able to you know to see where they are going but uh, yeah it's quite uh, quite a view yeah so is the other seat maybe the core driver and uh, him as well at the same view so yeah so I'm actually amazed on how um, you know even in the 1900s there were um, some great engineers who came up with such a thing so yeah quite spectacular yeah so here you can see the um, the luggage uh, trolleys or where the luggage was being put so that uh, they can be transported. So these are the carriage for the goods. And uh, yeah, so that's the engine room, yep. Yeah, so guys, a, a story is told. Um, in this particular train, just behind me, um, 
the man eater lions of Savo, I know you've heard of them, killed a hunter that was uh, sleeping or just chilling inside um, inside in, inside this cabin. Um, so he was sleeping on this bench. So his motive was um, to kill the lions that were attacking people. So it was funny that uh, the hunter becomes the hunted. So yeah, that's one story that uh, um, I've been taught by one of the tour guides who are found in the uh, railway museum. So just come and uh, learn more about the, you know, uh, learn more about the railway museum and uh, more stories to, you know, more stories to learn and uh, Im you get more knowledge from uh, the tour, so. Yeah, so now um, on my left, this is a uh, passenger's uh, uh, cabin, uh, the passenger's train, so uh, Let's go in and show you how it looked like. So, um, so there's these stairs around here to climb. Then um, I think the first thing was uh, the toilet seat. Yeah, so yeah, that was how the toilet looked like. Then you continue. So, oh, actually it wasn't like uh, communal seating they were like uh, private cubes or um, private places private sitting areas where you can just um, you know chill with your friends privately yeah uh, unlike the modern SGR that we have um, it's one communal seating space so yeah so um, looks like a hallway but uh, leading to more and more um, private rooms or private sitting areas yeah not much um, actually like this unlike the modern SDR where you have hundreds of people in one cabin so oh there's another um, toilet at the end uh, <laughs> There's a sign here, do not use the toilet. <laughs> I wonder whether there was someone who has ever thought of using <laughs> the toilets. So actually there are three toilets uh, in one um, cabin. So yeah, quite uh, quite some history there. Yeah. So that's it about the passengers train or passengers cabin yeah yeah so guys I'm done with the short trip to the Kenya Railways Museum so here I got to learn about um, the differences of the trains that were being used in the early 1900s and the trains that are being used right now um, here in Kenya which the modern one is the standard gauge railway that is used to transport people from uh, maybe Nairobi to Mombasa so uh, it's a worthy uh, place to visit and um, as you can see behind me here uh, yeah these are the skyscrapers of Nairobi so it means it's a very short distance from the CBD here in Nairobi so you can just take a walk uh, or if you're passing by Nairobi you can just take a walk um, get to the railway museum and then you know get to learn about the history of the uh, railway transportation system in Kenya so I think I'm gonna end the video there so be sure to uh, like the video be sure to leave a comment and subscribe let's keep the uh, let's keep the numbers growing and um, you know uh, just write anything that you've learned uh, during the video and um, yeah let me end it there and uh, expect more beautiful and amazing content like this so till next time yeah